Hi everyone, mm -hmm. I'm Janelle and this is Marjorie. And today Marjorie's gonna help me teach everyone how to introduce a dog to a muzzle. So uh, this is my first time, other than a few seconds before this video, um, doing any muzzle training with Marge. Um, and she wasn't so sure about it, which actually makes her a good candidate for demonstrating because not all dogs are gonna take to the muzzle right away. So first thing I'm going to do is make sure that she's got her initial zoomies and excitement out. Uh, I want to make sure that she's able to concentrate and focus on training. And I want to make sure that I have treats that she likes. She needs to know what's available to her. So first thing I did was make sure that she liked my treats and I got all of my supplies ready. I got two different sizes of muzzles. Um, this is a Baskerville size 4 and this is a size 5. That's going to be the majority of our pity type dogs. Um, if a dog is nervous about a muzzle, uh, I always start in a bigger size, even a size 6, just to make it easier for them to put their nose in and get more accustomed to it. So when I first started <laughs> seeing how she'd do with the muzzle, she'd try and get go around the muzzle to get the treat. Oh, good girl! Mm. So I tried a few different strategies of lowering the muzzle, putting it on the ground. Sometimes they might feel better if it's on the ground. Sometimes they might feel better if it's on the air. Uh, a lot of times folding the straps back will make it easier for the dog. Um, I also made sure I had fresh water available for her um, and a couple of different snacks. So if the dog's scared of the muzzle and they, if you notice that they won't even go near it, uh, the first thing is to just get them comfortable approaching the muzzle. Some dogs have such a bad condition response to the muzzle because they've had bad experiences in the past. Good girl! Uh, they won't even go near it. If that's the case, we try things like putting the, oh good girl, we'll put the muzzle inside a box. So the muzzle, the box that it comes in is actually perfect for this. Uh, you can fit it in there and sprinkle a few treats in. Come here. So if a dog's nervous about a muzzle and they don't want to put their nose in it, uh, sometimes putting it in a box or inside a bowl is helpful just to get them to accustomed with putting their nose in there. Come here. <clears throat> if the dog doesn't want to come near you when you have a muzzle, that's a lot of times where we'll fix the, uh, the muzzle into the bowl, add food to it, and then leave it so the dog can just explore it on their own. But she's doing pretty well. Oh, good girl. Who's that? Good girl. <laughs> in the beginning, I'll just drop treats in there. I don't even try to put the strap on. I just put in treats. Really tasty stuff. Good girl. And once they start to get comfortable uh, putting their nose in the muzzle, then I'll start scratching their neck just to make sure they're accustomed to that feeling of uh, their neck being touched while they put their nose in the muzzle. And I want the dogs to be excited about the muzzle. They shouldn't view it as punishment. They should view it as an exciting training opportunity, uh, just a time to get great snackies. I'm gonna crumble up this treat so she actually, it's gonna take her a little bit longer to eat it. Good girl. And then I can start to Gently put the strap around her neck without fastening it. That's a good girl. Just so she gets used to that feeling. Good girl. Uh, another trick you can try if the dog's a little snatchy or they don't like what you have to offer, you can try the squeeze treat. Oh, good girl. <laughs> this is also great when you're starting to see if you can get the strap around the dog's head. Good girl. I just want her to be comfortable with it. Good job. And it's also really important that I'm giving her the freedom to engage or not engage with me. Um, if I was forcing her to be here, um, then she really would not like the muzzle at all. So it's totally her choice and she's going to be... <laughs> There's distracting <laughs> Uh, and then she's going to be happy about checking it out, and then she can take breaks whenever she wants and has access to water at all times. But usually if you've got the tasty snacks, then you and the muzzle is going to be the most interesting thing for the dog. Alright, so Marjorie wasn't really into uh, 
having the muzzle go on all the way. So my little friend Jack here is gonna help us finish. Um, once the dog is comfortable with putting his own uh, nose in the muzzle and is comfortable with the strap going on over the head, you can start to test their comfort level uh, with the strap going over and being connected by just holding it here while they eat food, scratch them on the neck, and just hold it there without actually clasping it. The first time that you do connect it, make sure that they're still getting some food, some peanut butter, maybe something that lasts a little bit longer that they're licking off the muzzle, and go ahead and snap it and see how the fit is. You wanna err on the side of it being a little bit big the first time, um, and estimate about how much you're gonna need to adjust it rather than try and adjust it while it's on the dog and then take it off before they get too upset. Um, and then when you go to adjust it, just slide this little part down. And some this is why you don't wanna do it on the dog is because it might be a little tight. And I think I just need a couple inches, about an inch or so, and then pull it through. <sighs> All right, now let's see how it fits. Good boy, Jack. <laughs> We go so it should be a pretty snug fit so that they can't paw it off um, and we only want to start them off wearing it just a little bit at a time if they start to paw at it try and distract them like hey come here come here to see if they'll do a sit give them a few more treats and then take it off so if they're pawing on it try and just get them to take like one or two more treats distract them and then take it off so they don't uh, have success at getting it off themselves otherwise they'll probably do it every time and it's really hard to get them to stop. So just do it for a short period and then take it off and let them know what a good dog they are. <laughs> All right, that's it.